Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, guys, just continuing on um, on the um, thread concerning the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, we were speaking and discussing um, specifically about the um, pale horse, the rider of the pale horse. Um, uh, again, it's the white color of the horse, and then the boar, which is poignant to this particular um, individual riding the pale horse which uh, again symbolizes conquest right now um what's interesting uh, very interesting in fact is this was published today so we spoke of it yesterday this was published today and it's a man on a pale horse um riding in a red misty area which again is uh, certainly alert and you've got the redness that's in IPG2 right which we see and then these uh, the rabbit uh, burrowing underground um, okay so what we look there you go so you can see all the arrows and you've got a man on a pale horse um, what's even more interesting is it's trending it's number one and it's 322, which is the number of skull and bones. So, Wallahu alam, what's in this? Maybe it's, uh, I'm assuming it's uh, signaling, uh, it's there to communicate with those in the know what's about to happen. Wallahu alam. But the 322 is there, the pale horse is there, symbolism about King Arthur is there, um, about um, um, becoming. Um, being on the ready and going into hiding, all of that's kind of um, um, within the lyrics of this particular track. So I advise uh, any one of you who might want to listen to it. I'm not scaremongering, but this is how they communicate on all sorts of levels and platforms. And it seems to have, well, look, I mean, what are the chances? We were just discussing it yesterday and then Putin being gifted a pale horse on the 1st of April, which is interesting because, I mean, that's the number for the Joker right in the pack uh, it's April Fool's Day right and that's significant it's a cult in fact if you uh, know your history about April Fool's Day and then um, uh, you've also got uh, on the um, fifth Netanyahu visiting him and then in the foreground you've got symbolism of the four horsemen of the apocalypse the time on the clock as well as uh, the red and blue ties that both of them were wearing um, and uh, the pale horse signifies conquest and I think that's going to be over uh, USA and then maybe on the other side what we've discussed is Syria when they start Ezekiel 38 and 39 manufacture sorry Ezekiel 38 and 39 um, part of uh, Revelation 12 I understand which is going to be a three-pronged attack on the USA um, is going to be an EMP attack and that's going to be followed by a tsunami and then a seismic event uh, in um, mainland USA, a, a very significant one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Anyway, Jazakallah khair wa sunnah 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 jazak